Hey guys, what's up? My name is Lalo. So uh, I'm starting a new channel. It's going to be my first ever video. So the whole purpose of the channel is to teach you things that you know I had problems with through the hobby. I made a lot of mistakes, and I'm here so you don't make the same mistakes as I did. So this video is going to be about sexing shrimp, be it Caridina species or Neo Caridina species. Now let's begin. Before I jump to, you know, differentiating between male and female shrimp, I want to just say that there's a process to this, okay? So, a female generally gets a saddle on its back. These saddle are eggs that are not fertilized. So, the moment the female molds, okay, and she's ready to have eggs, she's going to release a pheromone that attracts the shrimp, male shrimp. So, you'll see them swimming around a lot at this time and they will go in search of the female that just molded in, ready to have eggs. So the moment the eggs are fertilized, the female gets buried where the eggs from the saddle goes to its stomach and you can see a cluster of eggs over there. Now it's harder, to, it's easier to tell the difference between sexes and neocaridinas than caridinas. I'll explain why. So let's start. Okay, so number one. The number one you can tell the difference between a male and a female is the underbelly. Now in the males, you will notice that there's a straight, it's more straight, it's not curved, unlike the female. And here's the footage where you can see uh, the difference between the male and female side by side. You can clearly see how curved the female's underbelly is, while the male's underbelly is more straightened. So this is the number one way to tell the difference, between, and the easiest way to tell the difference between male and female. Obviously, they'll have to mature to a certain, uh, you know, there's a certain time period where they have to mature, so you can tell whether it's male or female. This is maybe one or two months from, you know, being small uh, babies or fries. So this is the number one way, okay? So it is easier to really know, like I said, in Neos, because you can see the saddle on its back, okay? So you can tell beforehand, but in the Caridina species, it is harder because they have a darker coloration, both male and female, unlike the Neos. In the Neos, the males will have normally a lighter coloring than the females. The females will be darker and you can see the ovary sac on its back. Number two. So in number two, you have the size. Now, generally in shrimps, the females grow way larger than the males. The males are generally smaller in most aspects. And uh, the females are more bulkier and more, you know, fuller and more Vibrant, especially in cases of Neo Caridinas. Caridinas, not so much, but it is still bigger than the males. So, that is one another thing to look out for if you are pretty confused. Okay, so point number three. So, number three, you can notice the behavior in the male and the female. So, if you see things like, you know, moles and suddenly the males are swimming around and the females are like dominant, you know, you can. You know, most of the males are similar and you can know it is more clear to tell which is male and female because as soon as a female moles, the males go crazy, they, they go through havoc and you know, they just swim around everywhere searching for the female. So that's another way to tell if you know, you have males or females in your tank. So I think that's also a clear indicator whether uh, in sex in your shrimp, if you ask me. Number four. So this way is a little harder to tell the difference because you really have to go close and observe, you know. So number four is the antennas. So the females have shorter antennas while the males have longer antennas. So this is one thing you have to look out for which if you're really keen and not keen in knowing whether if you can't tell and you really really want to you know go all out and know whether it's female or male and be like 100% sure if uh, you know the curve underbelly is not uh, good enough because I have male shrimp in my tank which you know uh, sometimes you can't tell the difference because males do have a slight curve not as big as the females as I observed because I can normally just tell in fact it's a male or female but some people may get confused with that so that is another aspect look at the antennas the females have shorter antennas while the males have longer antennas so that's another good aspect to look out for 
So anyway guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope it really helped you guys in Sex and Your Shrimp as my very first video on YouTube. And I would love for your support, like, turn your notification bell on and uh, subscribe please. And uh, you know, if it, if it really helped you, let me know in the comments and let me know, you know, if you uh, need any more information, I'll be happy to help because in the end day, we all in this hobby and the hobby we go through bad times where we have deaths, we have, you know, we don't know what's happening in our tank and we just feel like giving up. I have been there, but you can overcome everything. Okay, I'll be covering a lot of videos, like in-depth videos about fish and shrimp and uh, and how you can take care of them, you know, and uh, overall be a happy hobbyist, be happy and share, you know, share the hobby with people and, you know, the beauty of aquariums and aquascaping in general so <clears throat> thank you guys so much for watching and you guys take care hope you have <clears throat> amazing hobby keeping and aquarium hobby okay so cheers